Hey, what's going on, fellers? I hope you're all doing fantastic. Today, I just wanted to talk about the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 16 gigabyte kit of RAM. Uh, there's two variants, black and white. This is a very interesting kit to me, not only because it's very popular out there. I know there's a lot of you guys that own this kit. Uh, some of you don't, of course. But the reason why I say it's it's interesting is because you can actually get Samsung B Dyke ICs with this particular kit of RAM. Uh, you can get Hynix CJR or Hynix MFR. It all depends on the revision number. Uh, you will, you, I'll show you that. I'll show you what I mean here in a, in a little bit. Uh, the specs for this kit of RAM, um, you're looking at 16, 18, 18, 18, 36 as far as primary timings go. Uh, and it rolls for about $120 when it's not on sale. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the video and I'll sh I'll, we'll talk a little more about this particular kit. All right, guys, so here's the kit. Just got it in the mail today. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Take a closer look at it. Get out of here. Alrighty. You know, you'll be amazed at how hard it is to do this with one hand. Anyway, so, yeah. Here's one stick. And one thing I have to talk about with this kit of RAM here is that um, at least this version here, I don't know if you can read it there. Version, what is it? 522, right? Because there's different iterations or different versions of this same kit with the same um, same specs, um, same model number, but it'll have different ICs. Some may be even Samsung B die. Others might be um, Hynix CJR. But this one here is neither one of those. Um, this is actually Hynix MFR. And today I'm going to show you how to get this thing to 3800 megahertz. And this is what the uh, little kit of RAM looks like already installed in the system. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty neat looking kit of RAM if you like RGB and that sort of thing. Um, this might be something that could interest you, you know. Um, it is pretty tall though, I have to say. So if you're worried about clearance, this is something you may want to have to, uh, you may want to look at and consider. Kind of do a little bit of, uh, um, yeah, research before you slap this into your system and you find out that your cooler is not uh, gonna clear this here. So, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the RAM itself. And like I said, it's Hynix. This is the four gigabit ICs, MFR. But this here is a dual rank kit, meaning that it's got IC modules on both sides of the PCB. That's really what it is. Um, here's your, you know, revision. So let's um, let's talk about this here real quick because if you have a 5000 series Ryzen CPU, having a dual rank kit is beneficial. It has shown to increase performance, improve performance at least. Um, not in all applications, but you know, in in most games, um, it it can take advantage. Your CPU can take advantage of having a dual rank kit, a memory kit that is. Uh, the only issue with this kit, even though it is very popular, is that um, when you go and import your profile using the DRAM calculator, you're gonna get hit by this wall here. Okay, um, 
if you try to do any overclocking with this kit, let's just say you want to go to 3600 megahertz, it's not supported. Nope. Uh, let alone 3800 megahertz. Nope. Not supported. So you're stuck at the maximum speed of 3466. Um, you can't even do 3533 with this. It's just, that's it. So the point of the video today is to show you how you can overclock this at 3800 megahertz, latency 16, 19, 19, 19, 38. And we're going to also tweak out our sub timings to give you the best performance you can squeeze out of this kit at 1.42 volts. I'm going to show you where you need to set your proc ODT and your driver strengths. All right, so now that we're into the BIOS, I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. So here, obviously, you're going to enable your XMP prof profile. It's the first thing you want to do. Then we'll go down here. We'll skip the timings for now. We want to set our SOC to 1.15. So let's do that. And our VDDP voltage, 1.1. <clears throat> Same for our CCD and our IOD voltage, we want this to 0 0.98. And uh, our RAM voltage, we want to, we want to set this to 1.42 volts. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm all stuttery and yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so now we got our voltages, everything's in order. Um, yeah, okay. So just keep that in mind. And now we can go to our timings. But first, for forget the most important thing. Um, yeah, we enable the XMP profile. So let's bump up our frequency to 3800 megahertz. We're going to jump straight to 3800 megahertz. Skip everything else. Um, and we want to sync our infinity fabric, so 1900, and our memory controller should automatically be synced. Okay, now we go here. We leave this on auto command rate, we just leave it on auto. auto. The motherboard does a good job generally at keeping that at, um, yeah, anyway. Um, so we're going to go 16, 19, 19, 19, 38, and then we're going to go to, we're going to set our TRC to 16. We'll set our TRFC to 497, because that's where this one here likes to be. And let's see our TWR. What did I, yeah, this one will be 26. Where we want to have it, we'll leave these here alone. Our TRTP, we want this one at 14. TFAW, we want our TFAW to 28. Our TCW, this should always be your TCL, so they both should match. So we'll manually lock it at 16. Our T C K E we want this to one. And uh, we leave the rest of the sub timings here alone. I think let's see hmm maybe our Yeah hmm. Yeah we'll leave that alone for now. Yeah, we'll leave it alone for now. Uh gear down mode. We want this what did I do? What did I say? Uh, we'll disable gear down mode. No, no, actually, we'll leave it on auto. Power down mode, we want to disable. And background swap, we want that disabled. Our proc ODT, this is important. We want this one to 36.9. 
and our driver strengths. These are important. Also, we want these. We want all these here set to 20. All right, guys. So we're back on a desktop. Let's um, just quickly overview the changes. There's a couple of things that I I did have to uh, change afterwards just to make sure that everything is 100% stable. Um, everything, the primary time is everything was left as you saw in the BIOS. The only thing that I did change was the voltage instead of 1.42, I went to 1.45 on the um, memory voltage. And uh, that's it. That's the only change that I, I did make. Uh, proc ODT and our driver strengths, every and timings, everything is the same. So there you go, 3800 megahertz on uh, this kit here. Now let's go ahead and just show you there it is so that's our kit that we're currently running and what is the difference you might ask well i have uh done some benchmarks already because i don't want to do the benchmarks as i am recording the video because that will affect the performance so i did that off off camera so to speak here's 3800 megahertz on your uh, read and 3200 megahertz on the read so before the overclock and after the overclock, 54,000, almost 55,000 megabytes a second on IDA 64. Um, this right here, because it's on, it's the way the CCDs are set up in my 5600s, it looks kind of whack. All right, our um, copy, you can see a significant improvement from 3200 megahertz to 30, 3800 megahertz. And our latency, this is the most important for gamers. We went from, th from um, the 3200 megahertz setup to the 3800 megahertz setup. We dropped from 67.4 nanoseconds to 60.2 nanoseconds. So that's quite a drop. You know, it's a significant uh, improvement. And this does translate into better performance in games especially uh, most games that are cpu bound do take advantage of a, um, a faster set of you know faster kit of ram so this will definitely improve your gaming experience um i'm not going to get into any gaming any of that stuff because i just don't have the time i'll it, this video will just be too long but um you have seen my previous videos where you know memory does improve performance so yeah you can <laughs> take my word for it uh, so that's just a quick this is just a quick video to show you how to overclock this particular kit of ram what you need to do to make it stable um, and just to prove that it is stable we're going to run a quick test of uh, this is just a quick test um, obviously if you want to be 100 percent sure you're going to need to go with something else like um, um, mem test 86 or something that that has that is uh, a bit harder on the memory so all right guys as you can see here we reached the uh, ending of our test without any errors so just had to speed that up there and I don't want to take too long uh, but um, yeah the uh, the kit of memory is pretty stable at 3800 megahertz as I said just uh, copy the settings here Obviously, you're not going to be able to get this type of um, these settings using the Ryzen calculator. So for that reason, I wanted to make this video just to kind of pass this on to you. Just remember, 1.45 volts is what you need. You can safely run this kit of memory up to 1.55 volts. Have no issues. You don't have to, though. Uh, it's just not necessary. Mm. Uh, 1.45 volts should be enough. You can further tweak out the other um, sub timings if you want to give it a shot, just to you know see if maybe you get better ICs than I did. But uh, this is just what works for me. This is what I have tested to be pretty stable, and using a TM5 um, has never failed me. Like I've, I've tested uh, with TM5 and also with Memtest Pro. Uh, overnight and I get the same results so this is pretty pretty trusty not a hundred percent I would still test with something more extensive if you're 
working with the um, uh, like for example if it's like your work machine or you want to you want this to be 100% reliable and you know this is not going to um, you just want to have that peace of mind so that's what I'm trying to say but uh, yeah this is this is pretty reliable as far as I have been able to tell so far so yeah that's all I got for now guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you did hit thumbs up if you didn't for whatever reason you know what to do please subscribe I have more content coming up I'll see you guys on the next one take care bye bye <music>